here we go. This is our round two on this super break. Um, mementos. 3-3. Damn, camera's very high. Much like high, the camera is very high. Oh, uh, tell you what. We got a Malcolm X in the last one. So, which letter should I give the X to? I'm going to give the X out. Tell you what, I'll give it to the V. If we hit a Malcolm X, whoever has the V can have that one. Or if any other name starts with an X that we're not familiar, of, familiar with. Uh, this is round two of the Super Break Mementos. Once again, if it's a one-person name, I forgot to mention this. If it's a one-person name, i.e. Picasso, it goes to, the obviously, the P. We don't go by the first letter or the last name. Anyone that has two names that they use frequently, um, they go by a two-name name. Obviously, it goes by the last name, first letter of the last name. But if they just go by one name, Madonna, for instance, would be an M, even though that's not a real name. But it would go to the M. Prince would go to the P. Even though that's not his real name. But people that go by only one name, it would go to them. It would go to the first letter of that one name. Other than that, 99.999% of these, it'll go to the first letter of the last name. Seven times. Text. Let me check that. And seven. All right, Jason, you get the E. Hey, I think the E was the first letter in the last break, oddly enough. All the way down to the YI. Dan Duke, you get the Ys and the Is. Okay. Sometimes. All righty then. Here we go. Let's see what this one produces. of the past hits. I used to love Elmer's glue when I was a kid. Squirt it on your hand, let it dry, and then peel it off like it's fake skin. I used to love doing that when I was a kid with Elmer's. All right, the f oh, got a cut autograph here of... Oprah? Oh, Greg Norman. <laughs> I don't like Oprah. That would be a tough one to give away. If we got the Oprah card, she technically goes by Oprah, but everybody knows her as Oprah Winfrey. I guess you'd have to give it to the W. She is a one person named sort of, but not fully. Like Pink or Madonna. They're no, they're fully one, pe one person names. But Oprah Winfrey... And it was called the Oprah Winfrey Show, wasn't it? I don't know. Anyway, Greg Norman is the in. That is a one of one golfer cut. Very close, Jim. Very close. One's a golfer from Australia. One's a billionaire from Chicago. All right, there. Speaking of, uh, here's a Marilyn Monroe, Nixon, no land, already deep in. And a sexual innuendo is that. It goes to the M. This is. That's uh, Geronimo. Or is that Sitting Bull? Have to look some of these up. Cisco drew that though. Abraham Lincoln. 
She's in this product. It's a cut autograph. Oprah. Hemi. She's on the sale sheet. Um, Amelia Earhart. Thomas Edison. Douglas MacArthur. Once again, if you own the letter that starts the last name, I will divvy these up later to you. Bill Clinton. Norman Rockwell. Hey, that's a cut picture of that stamp. I think. Maybe not. Uh, Martin Luther King. And Dwight D. Eisenhower. George D., I'm surprised you didn't get in this break last night, man. This is right up your street. <laughs> yeah. Kenny. Oprah? Oh, wait. Greg Norman. Is that Oprah Winfrey? It did look like Oprah's autograph, to be honest with you. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, Relic. It goes to the S. B. C. Bill Clinton. Norman Rockwell. He looks sort of like me when I was younger. Norman Rockwell. N. R. Ronald Reagan. R. R. Andy Warhol. W. Barack Obama. O. Dalai Lama. That is L. Richard Nixon, Dwight D. Eisenhower, and Herbert Hoover, H.H. Hey, H.H., that's Hail Hitler. All right. Amelia Earhart, one of one relic stamp. Does anybody else want in, Ledge? We got a ton of breaks up, so I don't know. Everybody, everybody might be spent out. Kua. Does anybody else want in that break that Kua just suggested? <laughs> I'd like to take this moment to apologize to absolutely no one. That's what Conor McGregor says. That's funny. Um, that was an Amelia Earhart going to the person with the letter A, one of one. Henry Ford. My name sounds super familiar. Um, Harry Houdini. It's the first time hitting a Houdini. Hey, there's another HH. Kennedy. November 23rd, 1963. P.T. Barnum. What's up, Cody Priest? All right, you guys want me to set it up? I can. Ledge, Cody, you guys let me know. I'm after this break. Albert Einstein. That piece is very complex. Shoot him down, Jesse James. This goes to the X spot. That went to the J. Malcolm in the middle X. <laughs> Ed Ram. Barack Obama. King George the Third. And Dwight Eisenhower again. Launch. Failure to launch. Yeah, Amelia Earhart's E. Oh, yeah, Stain Ward. Did I say A? I meant E. I'm going to sort them later. Obviously, I would give it to the E. Thanks, the warm. Okay, I'll set it up right after this. James Comey. How did he get in this product? James Comey, one of one bar relic. Goes to the seat. <laughs> James Comey. Darren C., you get that James Comey. 
and Gold Rush News Relic. I'll just give that to the R spot. Second word in Gold Rush. And the R spot is Shane. Shane, you can have the Gold Rush. All right, now the, well, once again, we probably have like four or five of these. Damn, this stuff was sticky. We'll start off with Mickey Mantle. One of one relic goes to the MMM. Don, oh my. That's an old Mickey Mantle article relic or in a stamp. Next, P.T. Barnum. Oh, and Henry Ford. Gotta randomize that. Barnum and Ford. Hillary and Bill Clinton. Hey, that's the old farmer's photograph. American Pathetic. There you go. Either way, that's CC. We will not go by Rodham. So the C gets that one nonetheless. Donald Trump. <laughs> Emmy. <laughs> um, that's that. And Roger Maris. M. Seems like there was a few M's in this one. That dude be swinging. And we be swinging. Roger Maris. All those are the one of one bar pieces. This is the only one I think I have to randomize. Now we got two heavy dudes. This first one is Dan Quayle, George Bush's old vice president. Nine and a half cut one of one bar autograph. Q. Hey, I never thought about that. We got to randomize that to everybody in the break. I gave away every letter and I totally forgot to give away the Q. I usually just remove them because we never hit them anyway. But technically Q, there could be a couple like quick or something like that. So Q, yep. There's no cue in there, so everybody in the break, you will have a shot. I'll re-randomize the whole list seven times. Whoever's on top will get the Dan Quayle, which is a cue. This one looks old. Is that Hannes Wagner? Who is that? Can't see through the thing. Oh, that's the original autograph. This one is, oh, Ty Cobb. Hey, that's pretty cool, too, though. Ty Cobb sketch cut autograph. I wonder how much something like that's worth. Goes to the C. Darren C, you get it, man. Darren Clark, you get a Ty Cobb, man. <laughs> You're tired of seeing the Pacer car on the track? Ty Cobb. Oh, I'm moving out of the bag so you can see it clear. That's pretty cool. The bottom hits seem to be pretty loaded. It's that top stuff that seems to be a lot of fluff. He's an up-and-comer. Hi. All right, let me set the randomizer up. I have to randomize um, P.T. Barnum and Henry Ford, and then everybody will have a shot at the Dan Quayle. What are the chances of that? We hit a Q. What are the chances of that? Let me set the randomizer back up here. And we be swinging. Oh, geez. I just erased the damn letters. I have to watch the video and hand type them all in. That sucks. I'll do it later. I ain't worried about that now. Um, PT. Ford. E.T. Ford, and now the whole list of everybody for the Quail card. How many times we click that thing? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Let's see what we get in this one. Yeah, the last two cards in this one. 
um, Big Mike were Ty Cobb, cut autograph, sketch thing, bar mint nine. And we didn't have anybody with the letter Q. So I have to randomize that. It was one of the letters I took out. Because I'm sure if someone got stuck with the letter Q, they would have been irritated. They were like, I got stuck with Q? <laughs> I got stuck with the damn letter Q? Seven times if, actually, yeah, we'll do that one. Seven times if your name is on top, you get the Dan Quell. After the seventh click, four, five, six, seven. Josh Yeag will get the Dan Quell cut autograph bar card. That is seven times. And then we had that PT. Wait. Then we had that PT Barnum and uh, Henry Ford duel. Seven times if your name's on top, you will get that. So PT Ford. I'm at PT Ford. <laughs> PT Barnum and Bailey goes to um, PT Barnum. I should say goes to uh, the B spot. All right. That is it for Super Break round number two. Thanks again, everybody, for jumping in. See ya.